Are you excited about making your own escape room for your group or fundraiser, but clueless on how to make the puzzles? The creation process can be very overwhelming, but the puzzles can be really fun and really easy to make. In day five, I'm gonna show you two examples of a classic style of puzzle so you can get your game up and running. My name is Celeste, and I am the owner operator of Escape From Reality by Golden Key Games. And this is day five of your 31 days of puzzles for your DIY escape room. Today we're talking about the put things in order puzzle. It's a very common type of puzzle in escape rooms. And so the, the idea is that the player finds a set of objects in the room and they will have might have numbers or letters or some kind of information on them and they don't know what to do with that. They want they go and they try it on every lock, but it doesn't work because they can because the order isn't clear at that time. And so they don't know what to do with it until they get some kind of information that tells them what order to put it in. So I have two examples of this that I've used in my rooms over the, over the years. First, in my very first room, it was about magic and magic portals and things like that. I had these statues of the, uh, these are gargoyle statues of the seven deadly sins. Okay, so this one you can see a sloth. And then the other one here is greed okay so i had these i had all seven of them in the room and then they 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 all had numbers on them okay the players didn't know what to do with them and they get tossed around a lot and put in different orders and they tried everything but because there were seven of them there wasn't a seven number lock they didn't know what order and there was too many to try and at some point they got a letter from somebody and this letter once you read the letter and it was maybe two paragraphs long and I don't have it anymore, but they would get this letter and it would, and it actually said the names of it in the order. And so when they started reading it, they recognized the sins and then they just put them in order and got either a four or five number uh, combination, which they then tried on a lock and it worked out great. That is one example of finding objects in the room and all you have to do is put them in the correct order and it gives you some kind of combination. My second example is very similar. We th they had objects in the room. The game was about magicians. And so I had this giant chess set in there. I had the king and the queen. I had a rook, a bishop, and two knights, and two pawns in the game. And they didn't know what to do with it. They had, at that time, they had letters on the bottom. And they didn't know what to do with them until they got this story. And when you read this story, it talked about how the different characters of the chess game went through a, went through a portal and and so when you put these characters in order it gave you it gave you a code so the put in order puzzle is very simple and easy puzzle that you can make you can make it with just about anything uh, you just need the extra piece of something that gives them the order that can be as simple as just listing out what the order is very clear and concise or you can put it in a letter a story a poem something like that where they have to kind of find it either way it's fun and all they have to do is put the pieces in order to get the code all right so if you're liking my 31 days of puzzles subscribe to this channel and so you'll get information on my upcoming videos